Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to India's Kitchen. Today I have a little treat for you guys, so stay tuned. Love each day, yeah, cause I'm not promised tomorrow, no. So let me call you to tell you, yeah, that I really, really love you. Oh, I know that if I don't, I regret it. And if I don't wake up, at least I got your message. Love each day, oh. I know that life is better if I smile with you. Welcome back to India's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna do something that I only did once. I am going to be showing you how to make salmon cakes. Some of you that don't like fish, maybe this is not gonna be your show, but if you love pink salmon, this is gonna be something good. I don't know if you guys ever had salmon cakes, but I tasted salmon cakes a long time ago. I tried it in uh, Damien's mom's house. I loved it and ever since he got the recipe he cooked he always cooked it for me and now he gave me the recipe and I did it only like once I loved it and he did it and he added his own recipes I did it and I added my own little twist to it so hope you guys enjoy it the first thing we're gonna be doing is I use the canned fish to make my salmon cakes you guys can do it fresh but if you do it fresh you're going to have to do more things like cook the salmon and if you don't want to go through all that and you just want to the can is where you want to go. The only bad thing about this dish is that a lot of things could go wrong, okay? So it's very delicate dish, so we have to, you know, like kind of go step by step. I'm going to be doing it my way, so if you guys want to try it any other way, if you guys want to not trust my recipe and go to YouTube and get another recipe, you guys can go ahead. But I'm going to be showing you the way I was taught. I'm going to show you what I add to it, and you guys don't have to add anything to it. You guys can make it your own, but me... I'm making it my own. I, well, I made it my own when I did it. So this is going to be like my second time trying it. And like I told you guys, this recipe uh, is really, really, really complicated. And I'm going to show you guys why it's complicated. This is going to be pink salmon. Uh, it could be any bread. It usually comes with water in it. So what I do is I drain all the water. You're going to drain the water. I usually put it down. And that's how it's going to look. I'm only going to do one just for me for today because I have the house all to myself. So I'm going to make a little snack and go watch some Netflix. So, <laughs> this will be the perfect little snack to snack on while you're watching some girly movie kind of chick flick. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to be doing later on. I don't have a camera. Uh, my camera guy is on vacation. So look. This is how your pink salmon should look. So as you guys can see, I broke it in the middle. And if you guys can see, see all this? is bones so we're gonna have to try to take all this out and we're gonna open it and it has more bones in there so we're gonna have to clean all that out that's the pain in the butt part you have to like really um open your fish and check if there's bones in there that's the only bad part that you have to get your hands dirty you guys what i do is i take it out i'm gonna open the second piece because these chunks are really big so what i do is i check see this some pieces are clean you just gotta check very carefully open it very carefully take out all the bones See all these bones? I'm gonna show you all these bones. I don't like cooking it with that. So that's the only tricky part. It's like a fish, it's like a real fish, but it's in a can. And another thing, you guys, this is a good dish, but the only warning that I'm gonna give you guys is that if you guys don't like the smell of fish, don't make it because your whole house will be smelling like this. This is a dish that will smell up your whole house. So usually when I make it, I thank God that I have a house where I'm in the first floor and I, you know, the air can just come out. I have two doors. I have a door in the back and I have a door in the front. So what I do when I make this dish, I have to open up both doors. I mean, I don't suggest you to do it, especially when you have to go somewhere and you don't want the smell of fish in your body or in your clothes or in your hair. You don't want that. So the first thing for this ingredient, we're gonna be using, I cracked two eggs. We're gonna be using black pepper. We're gonna be using onion. We're gonna be using garlic. We're gonna be using oregano and we're going to be using basil and of course i tell you guys always to if you guys want you guys can use the apple on ingredients it's my little touch is um i add green peppers and red peppers to my my salmon cakes so that's my ingredient and onions that's what i add to my recipe so the first thing i want to do is i want to season my my salmon cakes and we're going to add a little bit of onion and with this, it's just a little sprinkle because, you know, the fish itself, it tastes good. You just want to add a little bit of a flavor to it, a basil. And we're going to add a little bit of garlic. And I forgot 
one more ingredient. Salt. But just a little bit, not a lot. Yeah, there you go. Not a lot. I like to, you know, because the gloves for some reason, even the small, they come off little by little. I don't, I just, it just feels weird. So I just like smush it together to get all the seasoning in, in there. Make sure that, you know, you crumble everything in your hand. It's crumbled. Every little piece that you grab is crumbled. Make sure your seasonings are in there. Once you're done doing that, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be battering this, these eggs. Scrambled. The other ingredient, once you're done with that, the other thing that you want to have in hand is flour, all-purpose flour. I don't know about y'all, but that's how I do my salmon cakes. We're going to be chopping these little things up. I like to chop them up as tiny as possible because you don't want to taste big chunks of it in your salmon cakes. If you guys are not into like peppers, onions, uh, I suggest don't put those in. If you guys like plain, simple, just don't add those things and just add the ingredients that you guys saw me use. Or like I said, you can add your own ingredients. And since it's just me, because I'll give it the one hand. my peppers, my green peppers, and this is how we should look. See, they're not big pieces, they're the littlest pieces. And here comes a little bit of the, uh, I'm gonna say a little bit of the difficult part. This is the part that I messed up when I first did it. It's very, very delicate. So we're gonna grab, you know, I grab a handful size. I have small hands, so I grab a handful size. I make sure that I put it in a ball like this. Make sure that it's together. It's gonna be like a little, you know, but just make sure that it's together. Try to keep it together as much. When you're done doing it in a ball, it's probably gonna crumble like three or four times. Try to do it as gently as possible. This is something that's gonna be very delicate. That's why I decided to do my balls really little. Like there's people that can do it big, but I just, it crumbles on me. So I'm still new at doing this, you guys. So that's why I like to do it little. This is the hard part, putting in the eggs and making sure that, that it doesn't crumble in your hand. So what I like to do is use a little spoon and I grab this like that and you guys see these are how big the balls are and I put it in the egg. I try not to move it. As soon as you um, get the coverage that you need for your salmon, it should look like that. All covered in egg and then we're going to put it in, in flour and I'm going to do one so you guys can know how it, exactly how, how it's done. This is how it should look. All covered, it looks like little donuts. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit bigger than that, but it's a little tester. I didn't want to make, you know, make myself look bad, you know what I'm saying, while I'm doing this. So we make the ball again. Try to treat it very delicately. And um, this is a dish you guys will love. If you guys are fish eaters and you guys are fish lovers, this is one of the dishes that are, you're gonna love. Like I told you guys, I put it in here. I'm just scared to do it bigger because one time when I tried to do it that big, it crumbled up while I was frying it because it was heavy. Because, you know, salmon is something that holds weight. So as you guys can see, I have all coverage. It's all covered in egg. We're going to put it in flour. Voila! Looks like a donut. When you work in a place where there's mixture and they have like these little potluck at work and you get together you get to taste everybody's dish and everybody's from different countries and different places i love that i love tasting new things and i love asking for recipes so that i can create it myself if i love it to the tea i am going to recreate it i love that i love learning about different cultures i always found other races more interesting than my own i love my race but i also love learning about you know different cultures once you're done, almost done, you start prepping your oil. Make sure your oil is sizzling and in the right temperature before you put your salmon cakes in. I tell that to everyone. Let your oil sizzle before you put any type of meat in there. So your salmon cakes should look like this. And these 
suckers are ready to fry. The oil is sizzling, it's ready to go. So here we go, we're gonna start. So you're gonna take one by one and put them in. See, once you hear that little sizzle, you can't hear it because my fan is on. Oh yeah, I'm preparing because I do not want to smell in my house. I made the fan. I got the fan on, my door open. Put as much as you can. Just to show you guys a perfect example of what I was talking to you about before. This is what I was telling you guys about. See how it crumbled in my hand? It crumbled in my hand, so you guys gotta be very careful when you pick it up because it crumbles in your hand, like I said. We're still not out of danger, you guys, because in there, it could crumble too. So what I like to do is let it get that crunch. I leave it there as long as I can, let it get that crunch. You're not supposed to leave it in there too long because it's gonna, this is something that's gonna be done really quickly. It's gonna fry it, get done. I feel that it's nice and, 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 and yeah. Okay. See, it's nice and hard in the bottom. Once I fill it with my fork, it's nice and hard in the bottom. Then I feel safe to turn it over. This is something that's really, really, really sometimes messy to do. I usually let them get brown like that before I turn it over. Now we're perfectly safe once it's turned over. It's perfectly safe now. I passed the test because I already flipped it over and in the input. So now we're gonna get that crunch on the other side and then we're really safe. So we wanna cook it so that we can give it the crunch all the way around. We can turn it to the side so we can get that even crunch all the way around. Oh, so right now they all hold them brown and we don't wanna get them too burned because the fish is already cooked, everything is already cooked. We just wanted to get it crunchy. That was the goal to get it crunchy. I think it's done, so I'm gonna turn off the we're gonna wait 10 minutes for them to pull off and then we're gonna be doing the tasting test which is the best part so you guys the final result look how pretty they look very very nice i put a little bit of hot sauce in the middle i put the plate in the middle and or if you want to entertain guests and you have like a guest coming. I don't really have a lot of people coming, but when I do have one or two people decorate it. And then you can put like a little um little celery sticks all around it and voila. You got your salmon cakes. And of course, the best part of the video is coming out and it's tasting the final product. With this type of thing, you eat it with your hands. This is like finger foods, so you can pick it up with your hands. I'm not surprised how it tastes because I've done it before, but this is something that I love, so I'm enjoying it. No mind, you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on the inside. See the green peppers in there? It's crunchy in the outside, moist in the inside. I really enjoyed making this with you guys. If you guys love my recipe, please press the thumbs up. I will be leaving all the ingredients down below. And if you guys like this video, please press the thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit those notifications so you can be aware of all my stories. And remember you guys, never forget to love to stay.